For today's manicure, I will be using a base coat. Today, I will be using Ready for Takeoff. For my base color, I will be using Pure Ice Superstar. I went ahead and did a little bit of cleanup and now I'm going to be using a little bit of the liquid latex around the edges. I will be using for my gradient are Breezy Blue from Sally Hansen. This no name polish I got in a Christmas gift set from Wet n Wild and Heart of Stone also from Sally Hansen. And what I'll be doing with those is putting them on the sponge. Okay, and I want the blue to be towards the cuticle. Yellow in the middle, and the pink at the end, the tip of the nail. And repeat that on all of the nails. And before the polish has time to dry, go ahead and peel off the latex. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup and then I'm going to top coat with sesh feet. Okay, for the stamp design, I will be using a plate from Born Pretty. This plate is the BPL011 plate. And I will be using the very top, this tree image right here. I've got me a paper towel that I folded up just to catch some of the extra polish. 
I will be using Queen's Black Stamping Polish. I've got my Born Pretty Stamper. And I've got just a random scraper that I like to use. This one of my favorites. And what I'm going to do is take my black, put it just over the top, take my scraper, and scrape, and then quickly stamp. And what I'm going to do is, I don't want all of this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a lint roller and just get off those extra little bits that I don't want. Okay, and then what you're going to do is figure out where you want it. And then place it down. I'm going to do that one more time just to get one right in there. I'm going to take a Q-tip just to get that extra polish off. Okay, and I'm going to repeat that for all of the nails. If you have any little spots in the stamp design that just don't quite have all of the black in there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my stamper as like a palette. I'm just going to put out a little bit of my black. You don't have to use your stamping polish, but I want to make sure that the black is the same color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in. Kind of dot with my small dotting tool and just kind of very gently tap those spaces that just need a little bit more coverage. And once I finish with this, I'm going to let it dry for just a little while just to make sure that the black's not going to smear. And then I'm going to top coat.
there's the finished design. Don't forget to like and comment and tell me what you think. I upload every Sunday at 8 o'clock. Subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss a video. And I'll see you next week.